Hello and welcome to a game of Dota 2. We are in the uh, Gosu Cup, in the Illusion Gosu Cup Asia, and we are watching Vichy Gaming taking on Brutal. Ten We've got seconds. ourselves a game in the round number five matches. Today there's, there, like, Gosu Cup runs for two days, and the first day is just a single elimination bracket, six rounds, and tomorrow the four remaining teams will play in a double elimination bracket for the top spot. This is round number five, so one of these teams will have to play uh, their last game later on, uh, while the other will uh, get dropped out before dro going to the double elimination bracket. Of course, the favorite for this squad would be VG Gaming, which uh, we're gonna see if they can take out Brutal. Brutal, of course, I mean, they made it to the fifth round as well, so something strong in them. And as you can see, we have a bad on band out. Well, isn't that a surprise? Of course, we have got here our um, our new drafting. Well, new, new drafting thing, so there's more heroes in captain's mode. So let's see which teams we actually have inside the captain's mode. There is actually, I think, four new heroes. So that would be Elder Titan, Abaddon, as we already see right there, which is banned out, Centaur tr and Troll Warlord, so indeed four new heroes. Let's see if any one of the other three is gonna get picked up or if they're gonna ignore them. If you would ask a pro player like which would be the four for the one of the stronger heroes in those four heroes, <clears throat> Troll Warlord used to come up uh, very often. So we're gonna see if one of these teams is gonna attempt to run him. Ten We've got a Bat Rider and an OD banned out by Vichy Gaming. We still have an IO in the pool. Uh, something that Vichy Gaming does sometimes does often use actually. We have a Visage picked up as the first pickup for Brutal, and the Darkseer and the Abaddon are banned out by them in the first banning stage. There indeed goes the IO. No real surprise, Vichy Gaming likes to play that one. And we're seeing what they want to pick up together with that. If they want to go straight for a combination with Io, or if they want to secure some other carry first. And I'm saying carry because both Lifestealer and Alchemist are still in the pool. And both are very favorable at this moment in the in the draft. Because you're going to assume that at least one, maybe two of them are going to get banned out in the next banning phase. Since they are so, so favorable. So people want to have them. By the way, people wondering, um, ZSMJ is actually playing right now. You can see him on their 1225. That is actually ZSMJ. I will type here. Actually, I won't type here. You will hear me in two minutes saying 1225 will be a ZSMJ. We have got ourselves a Nature's Prophet pickup. So not really a combination with IO, but definitely a combination with IO, if you know what I mean. You can relocate two people with IO. You can teleport in with Nature's Prophet. And if they're lucky, they're gonna have a life stealer as well that can infest. And they have four people that can jump towards that fifth hero in no time. Brutal, secure themselves a Chen, so that will be their secondary support-ish heroes. As in, we're gonna have a dual lane with a Visage and something else, which is quite unusual. And therefore, maybe we might see an aggressive semi tri lane with a Chen in the enemy jungle. Because Visage as a safe support is not really that safe. I mean, yeah, he, Visage is a strong support because he can counter-initiate really well. But he is not really one to really save your carry. He can't disable someone. He can only slow them down, which might help for sure, but... Uh, not against Weaver, that's for sure. There's a Gyrocopter, picked up by Brutal and a Weaver for Vichy Gaming. Alchemist and Lifestealer got banned out, no surprise about those, as I mentioned them already. We've got a Chaos Knight removed, because that's a strong combination with the IO, and you don't want to be seeing that one. And the Clockwork was the last one to be removed by Vichy Gaming. Let's see what they want to pick up next. I mean, Weaver IO is actually quite nice. Quite uh, nice to get strong tethers on them because, of course, in this target, tethers are very strong. Don't really know where your opponent is. Five seconds remaining. Or well, you know where your opponent is, but as if you're getting aggressed on by IO and Weaver, the tether stun will be there very fast. That's basically what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Uh, Vici Gaming taking into their bonus time for the first time as in as, as their only team that is taking into their bonus time because Brutal is not using any of their bonus time thus far. And they have got their tri slash dual lane, semi tri lane. With the Chen in the jungle, with the Visage and the Gyrocopter as a dual lane. I'm still thinking about probably safe lane, but I'm not really too happy about the Visage on a safe lane. We'll find out. 
And VG, I mean, in, in theory, we've seen Io in mid before. I'm assuming that's not going to happen. Nidus Prophet is an offlaner or a jungler. Weaver can be on a safe lane or an offlaner. A lot of potential on VG Gaming in terms of lanes. And they pick up a Timbersaw. This is turning out to be really scary. Timbersaw, very strong hero, as in very hard to kill. And a lot, a lot of bursts for him as well. And we might see him in the mid lane. Brutal needs to pick up a strong mid that can hold off the movement from VG Gaming. Because movement is something that they have. Like each one of these heroes has got something that makes them either very evasive or very just, just you know, hard to move. You've got to relocate, teleport, Shukushi and time lapse and the uh, timber chain. It's super strong. It is really tough to take down Fiji Gaming at the moment. Queen of Pain will be a good one to counter that movement because of course she has that movement of her own as well because she can blink. She'll be in the mid lane able to harass Timbersaw if he is indeed in that mid lane which we're gonna hope that he is because CTY Timbersaw is something that I would like to see. Bounty Hunter gets banned out by Fiji Gaming and let's see what the last ban out is for Brutal. If Brutal is gonna use their bonus for the first time who knows. Uh, Brutal themselves need only a solo lane that's why we see a Bounty Hunter removed. We have a Sand King removed as the last Giant one for Brutal. And Vici Gaming has, uh, has the honor of uh, picking a hero up last. And like I said, in theory, every single one of these heroes has been solo before. It doesn't change with a Timbersaw on the board. So anything can be picked up by Vici Gaming. Just something that they would like to, f to play, basically. seconds remaining I'm just waiting 30 Five seconds left seconds in their bonus remaining. time they might need it all just want to have a discussion who's playing what is so well ZSMJ is actually lately playing a lot of nature's profit uh, they changed roles a while a while ago before international already but maybe some forgot so ZSMJ is playing a support hero mostly but he's playing the secondary Please support as in uh, the number four and he's been playing a lot of Nature's Prophet in the jungle. Also, of course, giving him a hero that still can farm. <laughs> but they pick up a Doom. Very strong against that Queen of Pain. I just said that Queen of Pain was one of those heroes that could be one of those that could move, have that movement speed that VG Gaming has as well. But if there is a Doom on her, she can't anymore. And she's going to be in some trouble. Not able to escape from the amount of pain and hurt that comes from VG Gaming. And there is the Windrunner, picked up by Brutal. So that'll be their offlane hero. And let's see what we have. On the side of VG Gaming, we have Fenrir playing the IO. FY actually playing the Nature's Prophet. 2 2 will be on the Weaver with uh, Fenrir on the IO. And that will leave Doom on ZSMJ. Looks like he still might go into the jungle, but Doom? Nah, that would be... Well, it could be possible. FY on the offlane, Doom in jungle. Weaver farming. I wouldn't be too surprised. Means that ZSMJ won't play his Nature's Prophet, but FY, we know that FY can play a pretty good Nature's Prophet as well, so... That's everybody on VG Gaming on the Dire side as we jump ourselves over to the Radiant side where we see Brutal already going towards that bottom lane, GX Gaming or GX Brutal. We have Solo Tick playing the Windrunner. It will be a uh, Noki, or uh, Noki loves Noki playing the Gyrocopter. Ta playing the Chen. Jealous playing the Visage, and then last but not least, it is the Queen of Pain, my pro, will be going on that mid lane. But so far, just joining his squad and goes towards that bottom lane. As we have a pause because we've got a disconnect for. Uh, Jealous. 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 I don't know. Jealous? That works. But the lane should be fairly straightforward with uh, Weaver farming, Doom in the jungle, and Weaver, of course, being supported by Io. In the mid lane for the Timbersaw, for CTY and FY. I mean, he'll be in the off lane. And he might actually be able to stay around there, stick around there because of that. I mean, it's it's not that hard to TP out from a Gyrocopter and a Visage. It will really depend how he scouts out with his Treants and if he can pull some uh, some waves back with his Treants as well. But otherwise, he might be going into the jungle as well. 
on the side of Brutal. Uh, like I said, Visage, Gyrocopter will be on that bottom lane with the Chen in the jungle, Windrunner on the off lane, and the, uh, Queen of Pain on the Seuss or Solo mid. Treant. I just said might be able to pull Treant into the. Uh, or Treant might be able to pull the Creep Wave back, but not like this. Treant dies. Very fast also. But hey, it's still 30 seconds until this time till the game starts, so another Treant will be sent. And this time it might be uh, successful. And we've got everybody going towards their lanes. Timber saw Queen of Pain. The battle I like it. It's not a lane that Queen of Pain. You no know, wins by default purely because how tanky a timber saw is. And actually, look at this build already. Normally, when you, well, if, normally when you see timber saws mid, which is not something that you see that often, but when you do, you don't really see the reactive armor skill up first. This time, this one goes for the whirling death, so goes for a bit more aggression, perhaps, and a bit more mana spamming to maybe get last hit with that, or maybe just try to uh, harass the queen of pain a little bit more with that. With you can call it maybe a little bit more risky build with going for the damage, going for the harass rather than going for the sustain of staying alive. Look at that, already harassing that Queen of Pain. Denied. And I mean losing 15% of primary attribute at the start of the game is a very big deal in terms of being able to last it. We already have Windrunner taking a lot of harassment here on this bottom lane with the Io of course there. And the Weaver just with the Shikushi. There's a lot of damage coming out. Just right click damage. Windrunner will have to be for well will be forced to windrun away if she's not careful enough. And of course she doesn't want to use it straight away, so that's why she doesn't. That's why she takes a bit more harassment, if she will. Timber saw, almost dead. Might be first blood, my pro. Can he get CTY down here? There's still Tango's being eaten though. And the self there being popped as well, so CTY lives, and now the active armor is skilled. Now we should be able to at least not die. But we're gonna spend our time mostly here because on the top lane, yeah, Windrunner is trying to be a hero and trying to get some harassment in, even though she gets harassed by the uh, Weaver. On the bottom lane, H Prophet is trying to pull Creep Waves back, which uh, is failing because he just has to send Trians every time. One thing that we saw, of course, in the previous game as well is if an H Prophet gets behind, he can get back up on his feet. With the Midas, so we're gonna assume that he's gonna do that. But for now, this is the most interesting lane. Both of these players want to win their mid lane. Queen of Pain thinks, hey, you know what? Normally, this is a lane I should be managing to win, or at least managing to to get ahead of. But Tty is taking advantage of that fact to just throw throw back in her face, like like saying, like you know what? I'm a timber cell. I don't die. And I got a whirling death. I can make your life miserable. My pro will be able to make uh, CTY's life more miserable now though. With an I invisibility rune and of course a full bottle is more important right now than that invisibility rune. Queen of Pain won't really be able to harass with that or maybe gank with that or get a kill with that. But with a full bottle, no need to bottle crow. And therefore getting a little bit ahead of CTY in uh, in a way as CTY is bottle crow all the Too time. Bad. Windrunner. Finding Fenrir. Walks right into him. The spirits. Already hitting. More spirits could be hitting right now as well. Yep. This is a very scare, scared Windrunner. I mean, I say, I say scared, but it's a very sad Windrunner. Now all of, already out of her region. Only three minutes into the game. And Windrunner is one of these offlaners that can't really go into the jungle. It's just not possible. How is she going to farm? She can go for Ancients though. That's something that a Windrunner can do. Easier on the dire side because you're a bit closer towards the, the lane. In the meantime, we have FY slowed down on the bottom lane. Rocket Barrage will get a bit reflected by the creep wave that's there. And FY will live. Oh, yeah, he will. Soul Assumption not able to get a kill there. A scary ordeal. That's what it is. CTY. Just got a full bottle again. Has to empty it again to get back to full HP and mana. Here comes the courier. Just to ferry that bottle back again. But needs to wait until the uh Ah, oh, it doesn't even wait. Until the Shadow Strike is off, I was gonna say. Here comes the whirling death. Empty bottle again now also for the Queen of Pain, but looking more uh, healthy 
than the timber saw for sure. And on his way to the bottom rune, which is a region rune, which is pretty nice to have against such a rest. FY, Rocket Barrage again, but the nice Treants already again reflecting and deflecting some of that damage that otherwise would be done on the Nature's Prophet. FY still alive, level 2. Can compare him to the Windrunner, who is level 4, so doing a bit better in terms of uh, levels. In terms of, uh, of last hits as well, by the way. And FY already going back. Wouldn't be surprised to see him appear in the jungle soon. Of course, he'd have to share his farm with the Doom. Whoa, CTY has got that full bottle again, but needs to use it again straight away. And the moment that the screen... I mean, it's already full of mana. He might actually try to dive right now. Or maybe he waits to level 6 and then dive afterwards. But CTY is in a world of pain and he's in a lot of trouble. He does have 7 stick charges. You can't underestimate those. But it's scary. Call down, FY. Runs out of the cooldown, still gets a resto. It might be going down with the soul sandwich coming in. That's our first blood right there. Visage gets it done. No TP incoming to try and help that nature's prophet. Self being used by Noki to get himself back to full HP. And in comes the Chen with her army, his army of centaurs to maybe try to push the lane back a little bit. He has to be careful not to follow, not to farm that, uh, or not to feed that centaur though. Because that's... Uh Actually, they're gonna use him as bait, perhaps. He is gonna die again. Rocket Barrage will be there in just a moment. And that is gonna be another kill added to the board. Another one on FY. And Centaurs are going down, but it doesn't matter. The tower is secured. This should be a tower kill with the Creep Wave being cleared out. And Centaur actually one being still alive. H Prophet TPing in again, creating some trains. Gonna try to pull the, wa la the wave back with that. But this tower is a goner. No deny coming in from FY. In the meantime, Io goes down. That was a very well aimed power shot. Io was low, sitting on the lane. One power shot coming in from the Windrunner. And he gets a kill. That was. That's not something that's supposed to happen. And just want to point that out. A Windrunner on an off lane up against a semi tri lane. Staying alive. Oh, Windrunner might not be staying alive very much longer, though. There's a level 5 Doom coming for her. He clears his way through the trees with the power shot. Doesn't have enough mana. Does have a self, though. And pops it as well. Might be able to stay alive here. Blocks the exit for Tutu. Oh, never mind. He is so dead. One level death is all it took from ZSMJ. It's the first kill of Vichy Gaming. In the meantime, FY in a lot of trouble again. Stuck inside a Sprout. TPs himself out. Cooldown still hitting, but no vision for the soul assumption. And he's back again. Comes back every time. In the meantime, the mid lane. Let's see, take a look at the last hit. CTY sitting on 35, 38 for 5, and 32 for 3. Up on my pro. Shakram comes in, but in comes the soul assumption and the sort of quick if they really wanted to kill him, and they get him as well. Nicely done. Last hitting wise though, Timursa was a little bit ahead. In comes Edison J. He might not survive this one, but my pro very low on life. Has to back off already. Buy back from the Timbersa. TP's back. Knows that he can try to get a kill upon this Queen of Pain if he just gets a nice chain. But he goes for the Visage instead. Visage lands his birds. He's still in trouble though. In comes the Chakra. Hand of God helps out from the Chen who came in to help as well. Slow down into the call down. Nice one. Rocket Barrage as well. FY dies. Can they get more? CTY. He just bought back, but he goes down again by the test of faith from the Chen. Buyback from the Visage. We have a power shot. Doom in a lot of troubles. ZSMJ runs for his life. Will be able to do so. 8 HP. He lives. Fenrir not so lucky. Goes down to the Windrun. A solo take. Gets himself another kill. And down goes the Weaver. The only one surviving there. Is that SMJ on a zoom? The rest all goes down. Brutal. Showing Vici Gaming how it's done. Dyer's middle tower is and it's done with a lot of blood spills. Everybody rotating mid. Vici Gaming. Every hero was there. FY went down again for the third time this game. Timbersaw went down for the second time in a row after buying back. Weaver came in to try and help, goes down as well. And all they get is a Visage that ended up buying back. I guess that's a little bit of a win. And they get themselves a Chen. But that's it. 
That is it. Illusion rune. Pick left up for anybody that wants to have it. And me to FY is just he has got a new mission, and his mission is to get himself that hand of Midas, because it's the only way they can get back can get back into this game. In the meantime, this Chen, sitting at level 7, 9 minutes into the game. And we take a look at the... wait a second, we take a look at the mid lane. CTY, the Doom was there, kind of wasted though. Queen of Pain still goes down. But as does the Timber Shell, down goes the Iowa as well. It's a 2 for 2 trade, and buyback was there for the Queen of Pain. They want to go again. Time lapse, 2-2, two, two, still alive. Wants to still go for more. Rocks up the high ground, it's going to be FY that's already locked inside a net. Tries to run for it, but the Sonic Wave cleans him out. My pro get himself some revenge from going down earlier and a takedown three. They don't get the weaver just yet. I say just yet. The shackle kind of didn't didn't hit. Illusion. It's a two for three exchange with a buyback for the queen of pain. But rotation from all heroes once again. It's just all mid. Oh fight. I don't mind. Especially after previous game. Ha. <laughs> nah, that was a fun game as well actually. And a pause. These pauses are fun. I didn't have enough pauses lately. Mechanism being built up by the wind runner. Let's see what everybody is building here. Gyrocopter. 800 gold. It's got his Aquila, got his treads. Solid. Wind runner for the mechanism. And in the meantime, Doom always has a mechanism complete for his team as well. Just needs the recipe. They're gonna go in again. They don't have the Doom anymore, as in the spell. That was already used on the Queen of Pain, which was slightly overkill. Nice power show, Doom. Oh, Testa Faith coming in from Tha. Gets the kill. ZSMJ goes down. Tower goes down. Smoke up instantly. And they go top. They want to have that Weaver. 2 2. Who doesn't have enough mana for time lapse. Will be having enough mana again with the stick charges, though. Actually, not anymore. This could be trouble for him, but he knows it too. And he buys a TP scroll and gets himself the hell out of there. He's got his head of Midas off cooldown, by the way. It's kind of a shame, but better that than dying. He's got his treads now as well. So himself, some extra survivability. CTY, even though... It, I mean, CTY was doing really nice. <coughs> um, in the mid lane, he was ahead in last hits. But then in comes the rotation from Brutal. And down goes CTY three times in a row. One of which he bought back and died again. So he has been now completely shut down. Everything he got on the lane... Gone. Gone. As Brutal takes down another tower. Looks to go for more of those. Shackle. Doesn't latch. Fenrir still alive for, for this one. In comes a Shackle from CTY. Feels kind of ballsy, but takes already a soul assumption. Nice Nature's Prophet Ultimate, but in comes the Hand of God. And it's CTY that goes down first by the Visage. Visage goes down as well as 2-2 comes into play. Looking for a kill. They find two. They, they find FY. FY goes down. It's a 2 for 2 trade so far. The Doom up on Noki. He flies away. Might be able to stay alive from this one. As Edison J won't be able to chase him down. They go for 2 2 here. Sonic Wave and a power shot. And some extra hits from Visage gets him down. <clears throat> a relocate gets Edison J away from there. But this will be an IO to go down. And this is four heroes dead once again on the side of Vici Gaming. Vici Gaming, who are taking trades that are not going well at all. Shackles there. Fenrir goes down. This is not the Vici Gaming that we left behind when they did not make it to the international. This is for me the first time that I see them since then and or since before TI and it just feels like off. They have their full line up here. <clears throat> but brutal. Doing their name justice. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They're not out of this just yet though, don't get me wrong. They just profit. One of the more stronger late game heroes, especially now that he has Hand of Midas, will be able to be that mid game or late game force. Another Hand of Midas up on the Weaver, so once they start rolling, they'll be fine. And I mean, this Doom doesn't have a Hand of Midas, but I mean, he's got the Vower, so he gets some solid farm for himself as well, no matter how much he dies. <clears throat> and he's got the mechanism. 13 minute mechanism is definitely decent. He's been farming okay. He's been in 5 out of the 8 kills. He's the one that's only died once. 
Something that the rest of his team unfortunately cannot say with FY dying five times, Timbersaw dying four times, even Weaver uh, dying twice and Io dying, dying four times as well. I mean, ZSMJ is the one that died least of all. But is it enough? And can they outfarm a gyrocopter? It's the question. Gyrocopter is overall a pretty solid carry. My pro going for the uh, Orchid of Malevolence. Already got himself one Oblivion staff ready. Let's take a look at what everybody else is building because with, with all these skills, the supports are getting a lot of farm as well. Look at this visage, by the way. He has been involved in 14 out of the 16 kills. I mean, fair enough, he's died three times. But this is insane. 17. Or four, sorry. 14 out of 16. Quite insane. I love the rotations from all these players, by the way. Every time something happens, everybody is there. His gyrocopter is building towards his BKB. He's still got 2k gold in his inventory. Almost has it complete. And they are with uh, four again. Queen of Pain is making her way bottom as well. They're they are looking to fight. They think, you know what, we've been winning these fights. Might as well try again. They've got a gold advantage. Relocate in. They're going for the Queen of Pain. It is the Doom and Fenrir, but the blink away towards the high ground is already there. That's a relocate. Failed, and they go for City by but Huge Timber chains himself away. Io has detached himself from Doom and leaves him there, but Doom is home safe, and Io as well. <clears throat> but there should be a tier 2 tower going the way of Brutal. One chakra won't be that won't be stopping them. CTY doing what he can. Has to be careful because I mean, even though he's a timber saw and he's known to be one of the more tankier heroes, he's shown that he's definitely not invulnerable. They want to go for Fenrir. Nice stuns from the familiars, and that's a kill. Gyrocopter with the cooldown. In comes a Doom though, up on my pro, but they can't follow up, so that's a waste of Doom. CTY got the soul assumption just to scare him off, but my pro won't die from this Doom for sure. <coughs> And the Hound of God will even do, or even nullify all damage that was done. And they TP, they go mid, because FY was starting to farm there, starting to push there, starting to try and split push. Just like Tutu was on the top lane, who was able to take down the tier 1 tower. But still 4 towers down on the side of VG Gaming, with only 1 down on the side of Brutal. The same clock. 2, sorry I can't count, 2 down. BKB now ready on the gyrocopter, very fast one, 16 minutes after Aquila, after treads, that's insane. Of course, tower gold does kind of help with that, on top of that, he's just, he's just doing really well. One thing that I want to point out though, Sweeper is actually higher on net worth, because his last hitting has been okay. Yeah, he died twice, but he's got a hand of Midas, and that's making up for a lot. And it's also making up for being one, well, he is now 1k gold higher in terms of net worth compared to the gyrocopter, so definitely not something to rule out just yet. But Brutal, they keep the pressure on, they're not done just yet. And they go mid lane. See how far they how far they come with the newly acquired BKB. They're looking for a fight. And they might just get one. Flat cannon cleaning out the creep wave. Couple of sand towers for the Chen. Waiting for the next creep wave. Let's see how far they can get with this. They've got the familiars as well. And they're here for the tower. I mean, if there's gonna be a team fight, they, they'll take it. But the tower is main priority right now. Get that extra gold to your team. Get ahead and then stay ahead. That's their, that's their goal. So far, so good. And comes a call down up on two. Shackle already hits up on the Doom as well. They're going in. That's gonna be Io. Already dead, already gone, looking for the Doom, in comes the Weaver, TP'd in, but Doom already dead, 2-2, two, two. gonna be next target, stunned up and killed off! No, he time lapses, still alive for now, tries to run, Shackle doesn't latch, Shikushi's away, yeah he's dead. <clears throat> Triple kill, in the meantime Timbersaw was able to take down the Queen of Pain and all that confusion, so they get something out of that, but it's a triple kill for this Gyrocopter and it is not looking pretty for Vichy Gaming. May I remind you that this is a best of one. And this best of one looks to be over soon if it's up to Brutal. So they're knocking on the door of Vichy Gaming's base. Take down the tier 3 back off in the meantime. Ninja's Prophet was able to take down the tier 2 top. So that's going to be something again that Vichy gets in return for it. A little bit of extra gold. 
but they still don't have the power to fight back and at some point they need to fight back when is that when are they gonna do that are they gonna be able to do that because this is looking pretty scary Double damage. and that doom is not able to really pull his weight with being killed off so early in the fight not able to get his doom off at all CTY the, the thing about a timber saw is that he is very strong if he gets ahead but if he drops behind it's very tough for him to get back because normally when you get you, when you get ahead on a timber saw you can basically do anything and not be afraid of dying and you're just gonna be super tanky and super annoying for your opponent team and you're gonna be the one to initiate but he can't really initiate at this point because he'll still get picked up fairly fast he is not that fat timber saw that people want to see if you pick him up this tower will get denied if they actually want to have it denied they might just be confident enough that it doesn't need to be in comes a tether chakram already gets pulled back Lincoln's already popped, Lincoln's completed up on Tutu, he just wanted to show off. And he's chasing down the Visage. While the rest is chasing down CTY, it's not, it's not smart to chase down- Oh, he relocated him by- Fenrir! You need to get a target to teleport with! Why would you do that? I think that was slightly miscommunication because Fenrir going in there on his IO and everybody else running away, it was just- it was done. This is just plain suicide. It's like, what happened? Oh, that's gonna be a free Roshan for Brutal. No doubt about that one. Meantime, FY completes his Shadow Blade. That will definitely help him with the split pushing. But, still has to be careful for Visage because Visage decided, you know what? This game's going good. What we need to do is need to shut Feature Gaming down even more. So, they have a Gem of True Side. Jericopter picked up the Aegis. We have got. A CTY just jumping past, but no fight actually happens. Hand of God gets everybody back up alive. It's sent home even for the Jericho, so that means that Brutal is not gonna fight right now. And the gold graph going 4k in favor of Brutal. No surprise there, but... 4k in favor of Brutal. They are quite a few kills ahead. It's 9, it's 9 to 21, yeah. There are a lot of towers ahead. Two towers ahead. Actually, still about 3k if you can't last hits and all. And being 3k, like that's already 3k gold that they are ahead by default. The amount of kills that they are ahead does not, like that's not just at 1k. So Fiji Gaming is actually doing quite okay in terms of gold. <clears throat> if you consider that they are down two towers and down a lot of kills. kills. Let's see how far they can get though. They already took down the tier 3. Shackle. Just some creeps. Creeps are fun. They have a BKB. They can just wait until something happens. Until Vichy Gaming decides to do something against them like that. Like throw out a Shackle. But it doesn't stop the Rax from being attacked. Vichy Gaming. Your Rax are under attack. Shackle. Does latch IO to a creep, to a tree rather. Coldon comes down, Nature's is already blown though. CTY tries to get himself away. Mechanism keeps him up for a little while longer, but he still goes down. Now the BKB gets turned on by the Gyrocopter. The Doom only afterwards as Jen goes down. It is, however, Tutu that comes in and he looks to for go for kills. He already has a double kill. Looking for more, looking for Noki. The Doom will take on only for a little while longer and now maybe Noki wants to turn around. He has got himself full amount of mana. And he might be able to do it, but he doesn't have any backup, so he just runs. Nature's Prophet coming in. FY gets a sprout. They want to go for it. They get him as well. 2-2 two, two on a killing spree in the end, getting a triple kill out of this one. Vichy Gaming, they defend their racks, get three kills in return, and actually do a really good job at making sure that Brutal, next time, will think twice about going high ground. Yeah, I have to say, FY, very low. It was actually, at the moment, at, at one point, I thought they weren't going to be able to do it, but... Fiji Gaming did it anyway. And get themselves out. Buy themselves some extra time. A 
CTY is still getting bigger, trying to still become that tank that everybody wants him to be. Gold Graph goes back towards that uh, 2k mark. Now only one tower behind. If you're Fichi Gaming. And the Experience Graph drops as well. No surprise there. Later, later kills give more experience because your targets are overall higher. And Vici Gaming was quite a bit behind, so they took down some higher level targets and get a lot of experience back from that. Look at that Weaver, by the way. <clears throat> level 17. Highest level on the map, and two levels higher than the second highest. That's the hand of Midas Weaver for you. He's actually finished up his BKB as well. So this is a weaver that's now ready to start building damage items. He's got himself a Lincoln's and a BKB. You cannot be more safe than that. But he needs damage. Damage is, is not something that you only can get from the Nature's Prophet and from the Timber Saw and from the Doom even maybe, perhaps with the Doom. So does MJ going for his own BKB? And we have a smoke up for Brutal. They want to try and take down Tutu. Tutu. That newly acquired BKB. Of course the gem is no longer there because they killed off the Visage. Let's see who's the gem. It's now on Fenrir. So Weaver is safe for a while. Fenrir can try and take back that map control. At the moment there's no wards on the map whatsoever. It looks like Brutal wants to go bottom lane. Let's see how far they can get. It's quite surprising that they choose to go for bottom lane considering that they have a tier 3 tower still standing there. And they back off. And down towards the zero line we go. VG Gaming managed to hold against the death ball of Brutal. Now the question is who has the better late game? It's not. That's not that much of a... Of uh, this, well, there, there's good sides for both. So we got a gyrocopter on one side, which is one of the stronger carries in in this game, together with a weaver. Definitely very strong with the BKB turned on. Maybe at some point getting himself a divine rapier. Who knows? Queen of Pain, who's doing really well, is building towards the hex. So getting uh, gonna go for that control on the other side. We've got a Weaver that's starting to build for some damage now. Of course, Nature's Prophet is one of those heroes that you cannot underestimate because he will be split pushing your base and turning into that semi carry that everybody fears. In terms of late game, I might even give it to VG Gaming. Weaver still on top of that net worth. Who is gonna make the first move? I'm actually inclined to say Vici Gaming, and that means that we're gonna not see any, uh, well, a go anytime soon. Maybe unless the Roshan comes back, but that's still four minutes from now. The reason that I say that is because right now Brutal knows they are no longer ahead, and therefore they're gonna just try to go for reactive Dota. Uh, this would be such a point to try and do something, but the tower just goes down way too fast. Bloodstone not ready up on CTY. We still have Brutal going for the mid lane. In the meantime, split pushing on the top lane is my pro on his Queen of Pain. One last tower standing. And they want to take it down. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Tier 3 getting pressured though. This is just free free damage. If I think, hey, nobody's coming in, oh fine, I'll just continue hitting there. Ultimate bouncing through. Tower still drops though, but is that worth losing a tier 3 for? No. VG came and they want to try and fight this. Can they stop them from TPing out? I don't think so. Relocate misses. At least doesn't hit anything. Tier 3 tower on the bottom lane, down to half HP. I mean, in terms of the same, we saw it in the previous game, and we see it again in this game. Vici Gaming, their disable, like their actual stuns, 
Is he get a tether stun? That's it. Unless Doom steals a creep, get himself a stomp or something from a centaur. Hey, look, he's got that. So that's cool. You got a sprout. I don't really count that as a stun, especially not if there's a wind runner there because she can clear out trees. But no actual disables. I have to point out though that Brutal also is not too hot in disables. They've got a shackle and centaur stuns as well from the gen. That's it. Two two. Going for an MKB. Starting to build some damage. Gyrocopter already has a Manta style ready, so more split push to come from him. And of course, not just that, but also something to help counter push the push that will come from the Nature's Prophet at some point. CTY getting a rocket on his head just to force him back. We first they're pushing on the top lane in the meantime. Oh, we have a relocate. They want to try and go take down Noki. Can they do it? The Doom is with there. In comes a Timber Chain. In comes a Sprout, perhaps. No, BKB turned on first. In comes a Cooldown. In comes Queen of Pain. They want to try and do something here. Sonic Wave up on three. Fen, we're going to get picked up before we get relocated. No, he lives, but he leaves Doom behind. Who is first to turn on his BKB. Doom's up on Noki. Noki, whose BKB is already on cooldown. We still have ZSMJ trying to run for it. Hand of God will keep everybody in Brutal alive. While Doom will end up getting picked off by the Visage. CTY coming in. Nice shackle up on FY. Tutu comes in there as well though. We see CTY hooks himself into safety. As we have Tutu already using his time lapse to get himself away from the mid lane. And CTY gets himself out as well. Everybody lives apart from the Doom. Could have been worse for VG Gaming. But that will teach him to overextend to try and go for that one kill. Upon Gyrocopter on his side of the map. And of course, one of the more important things is that Doom actually used its 10 second BKB charge for that. And Roshan, because of that Doom kill, will be going the way of Brutal. I want to be more doing more puns with Brutal, but it's, it's bad. I know. Brutal gaming. Oh, too, too. There's a Hex up on the Queen of Pain. Cooldown comes down though. Tutu in some trouble. T Silence up as well. Tether might keep him safe. The relocate. No, nope. Fenrir doesn't want to go down. Relocate would have otherwise taken him back in nine seconds. Time lapse. Actually doing more harm than good right now. That's Queen of Pain dead still by Timbersaw's Chakram. But Weaver goes down. Time lapses. No, not up. But by his back. No time lapse up. Has to walk himself back. But won't be in time to save the. <laughs> to save. Oh, the pause! I was gonna say to save the uh, the Roshan, but the Aegis gets stolen by ZSMJ. Nature's Prophet still was able to take down a Chen while he's locked up inside that Sprout, as you can see. Timbersaw was able to take down a Visage with the Chakram again. We have a pause because Queen of Pain is disconnected. He just bought back and disconnected as he bought back. This is trouble. There's still Tier 1 Tower left standing, so that's the one that Queen of Pain was gonna jump towards. He wouldn't have been able to save the Roshan, save the Aegis, that is, so that's something that's comforting perhaps for brutal and because of this pause i'm gonna assume everybody will just back off and not fight anymore especially knowing that doom has an aegis we have windrunner trying to get herself back out of this one uh she's actually going to be sent back home as i believe that that is uh this animation that we're seeing there so chen actually saves the last one that was still here so that means that the fight hereby is over maybe the familiars are still going to go down but even if that happens. The fight's over. And that means that Vici Gaming won this fight by back on the Weaver. It started out very bad for them. I mean, Fenrir just came in and died. Time lapse into death as well. It kind of was sad to see. But I think to, I think we can say MVP Timberstar here. He took care of the Queen of Pain. And of course Doom walks in and takes the Aegis. It's pretty big as well. But it's... uh. Yeah, it's a snatched Aegis. Doom gets it. Vici Gaming. Not out of this game yet. And we have the gold graph going towards, or still are at zero line. This is a very even game. I have to say, and sorry for sounding maybe slightly biased, but I'm sure you were as well. I'm impressed with Brutal. And if you look on paper, it should have been Vici Gaming to take this game fairly easily. But no, Brutal is making them work for it. And it's it's not out of, the, out of, out of it yet. I mean, Brutal can definitely still take this one.
But yeah, that was a send home for for the Windrunner. Shackle was still there, but <clears throat> that's it. Familiar is stunned up. Still alive. The vision is there. This is a very fast X. But no bird was killed actually. TP's in. <laughs> Sneaky FY. Sneaky FY. Anyway, he gets a gem back that was put uh, was uh, built by the village at some point. Let's see if VG Game can get something off the back of that Aegis and off the back of that fight. Going for the last outer tower still standing. Would put the towers back to only one tower in favor of Brutal, and that's of course the tier three that's down in the mid lane. But everybody is back up again. Oh, Hex and Sprout! This might be trouble! Chakram there as well. Mantis Tower already cleared out. He turns on his BKB, gets Doom still, gets chased down, might still die. Walks back to the fountain, will be there in time. In the meantime, the rest of Peachy Gaming has to back off again to not overextend. And the Gyrocopter got sent back home, will be living. Nature's Prophet still manages to take the tower down. So they get something out of that. But they can't do more than that. Now one tower in favor, it's 25 to 16 on the kill score, but if you remember the last time I actually talked about the kill score, it was 21 to 9. That means that there are 7 kills versus only 4 in the time since it happened. So Fiji Game and getting ahead on the kills since that happened. And one thing that I said in the previous game as well, later kills mean more than earlier kills purely because you get way more golden experience for the later ones than for the earlier ones. Twenty-two hundred gold up on my pro. Looking for that side of the vice still. As if why treats himself to some treads. Gold graph, yeah. I mean, we can look at the gold graph, but we know it's even. Experience guy shows exactly how even it is. It's a good game of Dota too. Jared Cupser. I'm thinking MKB, but secretly I'm hoping for something else. Oh, Trudu, careful there. I actually can say the same thing for Noki, careful there, because there's a lot of people waiting around here. And actually they relocate, they go for the top lane, the hatch is already there, they want to Titan to take down the Queen of Pain, he blinks away still though, Hand of God is there. Can they get him, can they get him, the blink is there again in two seconds, in comes the Visage, that should spell the exit for the Queen of Pain. Relocate failed, Doom gets left behind, it's not over yet, in comes 2-2, looking for the Visage, tries to TP himself out, but there's too much damage, in comes CTY, with the Whirling Death, nice Shackle though coming in from the Windrunner, but it's not enough to save the Visage because CTY came in there. <clears throat> the bright side for Brutal is that it's only a Visage, nothing more. Nice movements coming out from VG Gaming. Seems like they've pulled themselves together and are once again the VG Gaming that we know. With just movement everywhere and anticipating every movement from their opponent team. But Brutal doing very good job to counter that movement. Or try to anticipate the movement of their opponents, of course. Fiji Gaming knocking on the door of the tier 3 tower. Let's see if they can get it. Nice shackle and the call on is there once again. Can they take him down? Can they take down ZSMJ? Yes, they can. That's one. It's only the ages though. Fiji Gaming. Come back and defend your own. In comes the BKB. He runs for it and he's able to get himself out. <coughs> Does put the BKB down to 7 seconds though. And of course the ages cleared. The tier 3 tower is still standing. And instantly smoke up from Brutal. Top lane is not really a good target to try and go for the Nature's Prophet because in theory he shouldn't stay on the lane for that long, but they're gonna try anyway. Let's see how far they can get. Blink in. There's a shackle. The vision is there, and that's a kill. Okay, I take my words back. That was a very good kill for them. And with that, they take the gem back again as well because that was in the hands of the Nature's Prophet. In the meantime, 2 2 split pushing on the bottom lane. Still not finished up his MKB, but he has enough gold to do it if he wants to. On the other side, does he actually want- no, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe he wants to save for buyback, but he picks up an MKB straight away. We also have another side of the Vice up, this time on the Windrunner. So that means that there's two side of the Vices in the game at this moment. We still have Queen of Pain almost finishing hers, so that's gonna be two, one, two on Brutal with one on Vici Gaming on the Nature's Prophet. Doom in the meantime, going for an Assault Caress. A 
4k gold up on CTY. Kind of curious to see what he's going for. Wouldn't be surprised to see Shiva's guard up on him. Let's go help his team a little bit extra and get some extra. Just basically burst. I mean, he, he lives for his burst. Basically, survivability for his team. We've got the MKB ready, as said, and Queen of Pena also got her Scythe of Ice. So that's two Queen of Pena, two Scythe of Ice is on, uh, on Brutal. Both have not been seen yet by Vici Gaming. Oh, the Hex. Visage. You're so done for. Boom. You're dead. Ooh. He was the one to carry the gem. FY will gladly take that one back. Actually got some familiar as well. Nicely done. Gemini attack MVP. Double sh two shot on the visit. Only one visit left alive. There goes another MKB. This time on the other side on the gyrocopter. And we also have an MKB being built by Nature Prophet. I think actually maybe he just still wants to go for Deadless. It could be a ca could be the case. Hex two two, just harassment though. Just showing that they have it. Showing the threat. But this is Vici Gaming, again, at the door of Brutal. The ties have shifted, Shackle doesn't latch, in the meantime, Niche Prophet split pushing on the bottom lane. But Brutal can deal with this. Oh, in comes a blink and the hex, and they go for FY, the silence is there as well, the sonic wave, the cooldown. Can they see him? No, can they take him down? No. It was- Yes? And the gem. That was the uh, soul burn, of course, that still came through from the Orchid. I didn't check to see the gem, though. That got taken by Fenrir. But at least they make sure that Vici Gaming can't push for a little while longer. Shiva's guard indeed picked off the bat by CTY. And smoke up for Brutal. Let's see how far they can get. In comes 2-2. Two, two. There's the Hex. The Link is already popped. That's 2-2 two, two dead. Well, that already goes well. Buyback also for the Nature's Prophet. In comes a cooldown. We have got CTY trying to do what he can. Fenrir already taking a lot of hatred though. Still alive for now. CTY pops the Shiva. Hits up on 3. We still have to do him up on the Gyrocopter, but he's living through it. And he is staying alive. Unless 2-2 two, two can have a say in it. Send home. That will be doing the job in terms of staying alive. Solo Tick runs for his life. One more hit away from dying, and he does go down. Fenrir with the last hit. The buybacks were needed. And they get it done. They take down the Windrunner as the only one, though. And get two buybacks to just take down one Windrunner. But the most important thing is, of course, that their Rax is still standing. And maybe without the Windrunner, they can make something happen. Windrunner does not have a buyback. So it would be a four on five fight. And they want to do something with their own buyback, see how far they can get. There's Prophet Ultimate helping out, Lincoln's already popped, there comes a Soul Assumption, not really doing that much just yet. Tier 3 tower in the meantime, under siege, in comes a Homo Missile, forces 2-2 out again, another Shiva's Guard picked up. Actually, sorry, that I missed saw that. That's uh, Salt Grass. Thank you. As said, he was going for that. The door, though, too risky. They need to build for buybacks again, but Brutal knows what's coming. They know that they can't live in this game too long because the split push of both the Weaver and the Nature's Prophet will kill them in the end. So they know that action needs to be hap action needs to be happening, and they find Tutu again, but he gets himself out. The gem is still in the hands of Fenrir. There's no vision up on uh, Brutal apart from the Sentry Wards that are up on the Visage. He does have three of those, though. Trap, 
CTY. I mean, it's very scary. This is a scary situation. I mean, we're 40 minutes into the game at this point. Um, later on, I'd say VG Gaming has it, but at this point, it's still anybody's game. And one bad movement could just cost your team the entire game. Cost yourself a Rax. So, positioning is key. Roshan is key as well. Getting that margin of error up. Getting at least getting the, a fail safe. VG Gaming will take it for free. There's no way Brutal can get here in time to try and contest this. They're too late. They got distracted by the push on the top lane by FY. Moved there with everybody and then had to let the Roshan go. Shadowblade up on the out to survive against the Gyrocopter. A little while longer. Gyrocopter has already got 3700 gold. I'm kind of curious to see if this Gyrocopter at some point will be going for a, for a rapier and purely because he thinks, you know what? Otherwise, we cannot win this. We need to go all five mid, all out, all or all in rather. And I need to get a rapier and win the game for us. Otherwise, Nature's Prophet and Weaver will be split pushing and then we will die. And of course, we do have indeed the Deadless up on the Nature's Prophet as expected. And look at that net worth difference. Gyrocopter, of course, still highest on top of there. It's only 1k difference, but still highest nonetheless. Which is quite impressive up against basically two or th two and a half Midas heroes. I'm not like Doom gets himself some extra gold, but it's Devour, so it's not really a Midas hero, but two two, of course, an H Prophet R. On the other side, the rest of Brutal is a lot lower than the other four than the four cores of Vichy Gaming. Queen of Pain being the second highest, sitting at the uh, almost the same net worth as the Timbersaw, who was of course shut down at some point in this game very hard, but Queen of Pain, not able to continue to capitalize on what uh, well, what she was doing, aka okay, killing people. Uh, they're gonna go for kills, they're gonna try to go for it, the cooldown already went there, FY is already going down with a power shot, 2-2 still shack up, time loves himself, back to full life, BKB's turned on, and now they look for kills, Doom is up on the Gyrocopter, but the Hand of God keeps him safe and he should not die for now. But we will see the Vicious going down if Tuthu has his way and he does. He has an Aegis, he burns it, he goes down. Only for a visit though, let's see what else they can get in return for it, nothing else. They back off, the Shackle doesn't latch. CTY thinks about turning it around again. Gyrocopter is back in this. Back on life, doesn't have his ulti anymore for another, well, another 5 seconds and he has it again. But that's an Aegis burned. For only a visit in return for FY, it's a good fight for Brutal, for sure. But it is a fight that was started by VG Gaming. It didn't cost VG Gaming anything apart from that age. Ah, I guess it made Nature's Prophet was gonna die anyway. But they are mighty strong right now. And very hard to, to five man fight for Brutal. Ah, yeah, that Ursa Warrior in the. In the Roche pit early on, meant that there's no cheese there. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. This is a Windrunner, 4 staff mech, and 2300 gold already on top of first side of the vice. Oh, this might be trouble though, the Hex is there. My pro, in comes the IO, relocate as well, and that is Queen of Pain dead. This could be the opening that Vici Game was hoping about, hoping on. In the meantime, 2-2 already goes for the Windrunner. Won't be diving further than this, I think. Shouldn't, no. <laughs> I was gonna say that would be very ballsy, but no. But no Queen of Pain is a pretty big deal. The Hex is there, he is able to shakush himself away though, because the Shackle didn't latch. Or at least didn't latch on him. But is VG Gaming gonna try to force out a buyback from Queen of Pain is the question. Doesn't look to be the case. Doesn't look to be the case. Ta, now having himself his Aghanims completed, so more Hand of Gods going through. 
We've got the visage still with the gem of truth set. Other than that, he doesn't really have anything. He's still been involved in 25 out of the 29 kills. But he is kinda... Well, not really rich on items. It's a 47 minute game. And considering he has been involved in 25 kills, it's kinda surprising he doesn't have more, but he just tries to get the wards up. I mean, look at this. Ward. Ward. Now there was a counter ward here, it just vanished. There's still a counter ward here. Counter ward and ward. He has just been getting those wards up for his team the entire time. Wards, of course, on VG Gaming are there as well, but they're not as plenty as uh, the ones from the visit. But he has his gem back, I guess, so that's uh, definitely a factor in that one. We now have a heart complete on the Weaver as well. I'm gonna look one more time at the experience graph. It's going into the way of VG Gaming, no surprise there. But since we have level 25s on the game, this graph won't really say that much anymore because the ones that are 25 won't be able Oh, they see him. Where's the hex? No, the Lincoln's already popped. BKB turned on as well. He tries to turn it around, looking to go for the Queen of Pain. Backs himself out. That's a hand of God already used. But with the Aghanims, only 30 seconds cooldown, so it doesn't really matter that much. In the meantime, though, top lane getting split pushed in. FY won't be getting that far, though, because we already have a TP back from the Queen of Pain. Or shouldn't get that far, I say. No, it doesn't. Okay. And it's just waiting right now. Brutal. They're cornered. They are definitely cornered. Heart up on the timber saw as well. So two hearts. Instead of VG Gaming. You can take a more exclusive look on the, uh, or... On the look of the items. That's a link that's already popped. There's still a Hex, though. That actually was the Hex Shackle Ledgers, though. But they don't see it. They don't see him. One of the things that you have to do is always have that... Homo Missile to tick off the Lincolns of the Weaver. Because it just ticks it the moment that it starts, like, you cast it. Not when it is attempted to hit, so... You have to time that properly, so it always means that the gyrocopter has to be fastest compared to the one that's gonna try to get the hex going. Or you use both hexes, in which case one of them is gonna be wasted, but still. In the meantime, 2-2. Two -two. Forces out of fortification, that's a win there, right there. In comes a hex up on Fenrir though, but oh! Walks right into the tether sun, mechanism, hand of god, keeps himself up. Still getting chased down, but gets sent back home, 2-2, two -two, gets a time lapse. Will be uh, living, but uses BKB for that. In the meantime, tier 3 tower gets picked up by the Doom, and the tier 3 tower on the top lane is next up. In comes a Shackle. They get FY. The power shot is there, but there's no vision. Doom comes up on the Queen of Pain. Coldon comes down as well. They see FY. He's hexed up. He's gonna try to TP himself up, but he won't be able to do so because the damage is way too much. But in the meantime, split pushing. Weaver takes down Rax. Vici Gaming is everywhere. CTY shackled. He gets hexed as well. In comes Noki with the Rock of Barrage. They are having the Hand of God again, but this time Visage goes down. In comes Tutu looking for kills, looking for the Gyrocopter. Gets him as well. Double kill for Tutu. Looks for another one. Gyrocopter buys himself back. <laughs> Rex are still standing in this mid lane, but bottom lane is completely cleared out. Tutu gets hexed up. Doesn't have an Aegis. Will get cleaned out. His time lapse was off cooldown, but didn't get a chance to get a nice shackle. Fenrir and ZSMJ. They can't go anywhere. Get a cooldown. Get a kill. And that is Doom. And Fenrir cleared out. Four people dying for Vici Gaming and one buyback. Tutu back in this. He bought back time lapse. Got himself back in the fight. At least he can make sure that the top lane is pushed out to make sure that Brutal will be forced back to defend their base. Before going down on the tier 3, or rather tier 4s perhaps, or even racks in this mid lane. And there they go indeed. They know they can't push and they are not going to try. They're going to try to see if they can take down Tutu. Lincoln's already popped. They can't get a hex in though. Shackle. Winter on a can't do this by herself though. Gold graph, 15k, over 15k in favor of Vici Gaming. Nice try, Solotic. Nice try. Nature's Prophet actually thinking about TPing in here. Solotic being safe. The rest of his team backing him up now again as well. Still have 2 2 on the top lane though, pushing forward. Boot to travel, picked up by the IO. Movement all around. 
Need a creep wave. Vector protection is still there. We already have the Weaver in the base. He's gonna go for the tier fours. Nature's Prophet here as well. FY. They're gonna try to base race this. Or are they? Brutal. They have to back out. Turtle Tick already able to TP out. Back into safety. Visage is not gonna be so lucky. Tries to stay alive in this one. Tries to do what he can. But he will go down. Picked up by Fenrir in the meantime. 2 2. Going toe to toe with the Gyrocopter. Gets Force back though. And gets himself out. Shackle will not latch. Power shot misses. In the meantime, we do have the Chen in a lot of trouble as well. Still tries to run for it. Gets hexed up though. And that should be a kill going the way of VG Gaming. Although CTY getting to the high ground might not be that ideal. He has to actually take a detour. Um, yeah, he's still dead though. He didn't have a TP score. Can't really go anywhere. In the meantime, 2-2 two, two, still back. I mean, he can take down this tier 3 tower at any point. No backdoor protection. That's a tower down right now, but he gets hexed up. Shackle doesn't hit, but the cooldown does. He still has a time lapse, but there was the hacks, and that is gonna be a kill. No buyback this time. He already used the previous time. Still not a reason for Brutal to be able to push up the high ground, though, because Nature's Prophet still alive means split pushing still very much there, and they have got that bottom lane pushed out constantly. And this will mean Vici Gaming can take their time to take down the Roshan. Fifty-three minutes in this game, Vici Gaming, after being behind from the very start, and Brutal almost taking this home. It looks like Vici Gaming is uh, now onward, moving onward towards a victory. If they can get it, hold it together, if they cannot, well, they have to keep the pressure on, and at the same time, not try to overextend. It's a, it's a, it's a balance that you have to walk. It's walking the line. It's. It's a tricky one, but they're doing it right, okay right now. I say we're right, of course Weaver just did die, but he did take a tier 3 tower with him. And of course, as soon as Weaver and Nature's Prophet die at the same time, then they were gonna be in a lot of trouble. But for now, they're still okay. They're still in this. And of course, what you're watching right now is uh, Ghost of Cup, an illusion Ghost of Cup. We're in the day one of two days. We're in round five of the six rounds that are played today. It's all single elimination. Starting tomorrow is going to be double bracket, double uh, double elimination. So the team that wins this one still has to play one more game. Oh, Shackle hits up on CTY, and he is in a lot of trouble right now. Gets silenced up as well, but in comes the Doom already hitting Doom up on the Gyrocopter. Doom himself gets hexed up though. Relocate comes in, but it might be too late, and it is too late. Or relocate it goes out actually, I should say, because it took CTY home. But Fenrir will uh, take one for the team. Shackle doesn't hit though. Ghost after already on cooldown. He tethers. Oh, and he finds Tutu. Tutu tries to turn it around. Goes for the Chen. Chen with no TP, no hope of living, and he dies. That's a doom for Chen. It's actually a very good trade right now for Vichy Gaming because no hand of Midas is actually a really big deal. FY though. Gets harassed away. They know he's there, but he TPs out. In the meantime, Tutu. Relentless Tutu finds himself another support. Gets hexed up though. Doesn't take down the visit just yet. The shackle doesn't hit. The silence is still there. Power shot there. Tries to fly for it. Sonic Wave still hits. There's the time lapse. And he goes back the other way. Gets out of there alive. Oh, CTY. And some help of Fenrir. You have to be careful there. If you're brutal and you lose one fight right now, that's it. That's over. 2-2. Two, two. Tries to go for the birds. Gets one. Nice shackle though. Cooldown comes down as well. Up on 3. BKB turned on on 2-2. Two, two. It's 3 versus 2 right here. Where is the follow-up from Brutal? Not here just yet. CTY of course still living because he is a timber saw. Gets hexed up. Shackle doesn't nice and comes to, goes to relocate away. They, they get themselves out again. Second time in a row. This time they don't wait around for Fenrir though, because last time they did that, they almost died. And actually, Chen did die. Necronomicons picked up by Queen of Pain and by Windrunner, by the way, in the meantime. They know that something needs to happen, they know that they need to push. We also have Gyrocopter with the Satanic right now as well. No Rapier just yet though. They might still see that. Depending on how much farm he is able to get still. CTY just walks up the high ground. Gets hexed, he doesn't care.
Even as a hex for me, is it? He's a pig with the shield. Oh, now he gets hexed though. Now he cares. Because now he's actually already lost half his life points. There he goes. Back up again. Long live cheese. And still alive. They're trying to turn this around. Cooldown is already done. Doom looking for a target. T already getting hexed up. And he'll be the first one to drop here. No hope of living for him. Shackle doesn't latch. But Brutal getting forced back towards their fountain as 2 2 already time lapses. Get silenced up, so Assumption will hit him. In the meantime, ZSMJ decides, you know what? I, I don't care about heroes. I want to have buildings. Takes down the Malarax, now rotates top. And he, together with FY, they should be able to take this down. There's no fortification anymore. In comes the Windrunner, in comes the Gyrocopter. They try to force him back. In the meantime, the range racks in the mid lane still go down. And this is just. Not possible for Brutal to defend against a split push. They do take down Fenrir, that's awesome. But they have to go back again already. Their Queen of Pain died. Their Windrunner dies. Their Gyrocopter dies. And this is their Visage, the last one alive. Goes down as well. Two buybacks happened though. But it is too late. We almost have Mega Creeps. FY still goes down, that's nice. But no key, with no BKB, no Satanic. Or just use the Satanic, that is. He is, he is about to go down. 2-2 just starting to bash up on him. FY coming back towards him as well. He's forced back into his fountain. He just bought back. If he goes down right now, that's it. That's over. That's done for. He makes it in though. FY thinking about it. Doesn't dive all too far though. Doesn't kill off the gyrocopter. But with all this chasing going around, there are now mega creeps for VG Gaming. And look, three heroes hitting up on CTY. CTY lives. He is just that powerful, and even if he's almost dying... Oh, actually, he's got a suicide on cooldown. Already used it earlier. That's a GG well played going out right there. That means that VG Gaming will move on to the sixth round of Ghost of Cup. Neo Illusion Ghost of Cup Asia. It is actually the ninth installment of the Ghost of Cup. And, uh... We're almost at the end of day number one. We need one more game, though. VG Gaming. We're gonna see who their opponent is. And uh, we will see that... Soon. Well, that's good. this game was awkward and fun, actually. I'm kind of, in, in a way, I hope that, like, people see the brackets, right? And they see, okay, VG Gaming beat Brutal. People are gonna say, oh yeah, that's expected. But this was actually Brutal, showing that they are not to be messed with. Keep an eye out for them in future competitions, because they definitely know how to put up a fight. Anyways, let's jump ourselves into the next one, see if that's gonna be played today, or maybe tomorrow, before the rest of the games are gonna be played. Stick around for more Dota 2, and we'll be back in just a moment.